And for more on how this year could shape out for car buyers and tips on what you can do now to save, we turn to ABC Action News reporter Vanessa Ariza. Now she's going in-depth for us tonight, speaking with industry experts on where to look to get your financing and what you need to do before you buy. This was 11.9. We marked it down to 99 because we need to move it. Doug Ramon is no stranger to the car business. He's been in it for close to three decades, but never has he seen a market like we're in now. It's been a tremendous shift in how people buy and uh, are looking at vehicles. Because used cars are in such high demand these days, lots like the one he works at in Dunedin are in competition with major dealerships. There's a lot of used car buyers today, more than there ever has been. In the last two years especially, we've seen a big impact on used car prices. That's Emily Voss with Carfax. If you're doing a double take at those used car prices, you are not alone. Nationally and even locally, Voss says used car prices have gone up by 40%. Your average used sedan in Florida will now run you around $28,000. In January of just last year, you could get one for about $8,000 less. It is so tied to the production issues, but um, industry experts are saying it looks like the second half of the year we should see some relief in the chip shortage. Experts say at the end of the day, the best way that you can save money is be patient, be picky, and do your research. It's so easy to see something and want to jump and go grab it right then and there. Um, but just because it's the first thing you see doesn't mean it's the best thing. Megan Aldana recently purchased a used car, like so many others, paying more than what it would have been worth just a year and a half ago. She also helps people get into a vehicle that isn't going to leave them cash strapped. She's the branch manager at Achieva Credit Union. Just one resource that can offer you a low interest rate if you are looking to buy. We have people who come in on a daily basis looking to get lower rates. They come in sometimes with 20%, 25%, you know, anything that they could have gotten to the car with. Um, and then they come in looking for help to get it lower. You heard her correctly. There are some people who have interest rates comparable to credit cards. Before you buy, she recommends checking with credit unions, banks, and all other financial entities to get the best rate. And check every day. She says rates, they fluctuate on a daily basis. A few other tips, dig deep into the vehicle's history. Take it for an independent inspection and a test drive. And just because it may have been in an accident, doesn't mean it's a bad buy. Nobody's in the market to lose money on a vehicle. For those like Ramon, he's hoping just like the rest of us, used car prices go down. Some people are of the feeling that we're making a lot of money on that because the cars are more expensive. It's the opposite. We wish they were lower because at the lower pricing, everybody is a lot happier. We're making more money. In Dunedin, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.